to us. The first time that that was being done in the episode for the students and for anyone who wishes to for the students since 23rd of March. Since 23rd of March 2016, was the power of the Regional Office as well as Chancellor. The recent orders of the blockage of campus in Black and Oil of the rights of the students, staffs and teachers working and living inside the university campus, many intellectuals of great academic caliber were delayed in reaching to our campus. By the VC who is afraid of the opinions, our university came into being by an act or a way, but the VC denied entry to the members of the family. The lawyers, doctors, parents and friends of the students were not allowed inside the campus. Media is banned from entering the campus. All of uh, this is done to protect the official of part of the visit. The UGPM demands that the blockade of the university be removed immediately. Let there be flow of people, let there be flow of ideas. Thank you. Who has the objection on the resolution which is passed? I request you to raise your hands. And the students who support the resolution are the people.
thank you, thank you. Now we are going for the voting on the resolution which is presented on the uh, military session of our university campus. Uh, now I request the students who have the objection on the resolution which is presented to raise your hands. Now I request the students who is in support of the resolution. Are with the so this resolution is also passed unanimously. A resolution demanding a committee against prejudice and discrimination inside our university campus. I invite Raju Shiva to present the resolution. Resolution demanding a committee against prejudice and discrimination. We, the student union of the University of Hyderabad, believe that Rohit Vimla's decision to take his own life is a symptom of a larger problem that plagues institutions of higher education in India. The University of Hyderabad, considered a premier institution of India, has not taken adequate steps to support and protect students from socially underprivileged cats. Even after students have raised grievances repeatedly and some had even taken their own lives in this way, to address caste-based and other forms of discrimination in higher educational institutions, the institutions must accept that discrimination on the basis of cash and other identities in our and convert base is a reality on our campuses. The Students' Union of UH would like to suggest an institutional mechanism that shall ensure that these deep-seated social practices are addressed head-on. We demand that each higher educational institution establish a committee against prejudice and discrimination. It must be in keeping with Article 15 and Article 21 of the Constitution of India which together protect citizens from discrimination by the state or fellow citizens on the grounds of religion, race, caste, sex or place of birth and ensures the right to live with human dignity. The main focus of the CAPD must be, must be to look into the complaints regarding acts of prejudice and, and or discrimination against scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, other backward classes, religious minorities, sexual minorities, women, transgenders, racial and ethnic minorities. The CFPD must be structured on the lines of gender sensitization committee against sexual harassment. The CFPD must be widely representative of women, OBCs, religious, sexual, racial and ethnic minorities, etc. While ensuring that at least of the committee comprises SC and ST members and it is headed by a person from SC or ST background. Student representatives must be part of the committee. Higher educational institutions must collectively constitute a high level committee of to formulate rules for the CAPD immediately and the committee must be given a clear briefing and, deadline and a deadline to submit its report. A course should be introduced for all students in universities and colleges to increase their knowledge and understanding about the problem of cash, ethnicity, gender and other issues. This course should be compulsory. Many countries such as USA, Scotland and UK have introduced courses on civic learning or citizenship education for students. A, mod a module and administrative, administrative guidelines should be prepared to sensitize administrators, administrators and teachers in universities and colleges. Reform the present remedial coaching schemes of UGC to make it effective with increased funding. And, and optimism, ombudsman uh, must be appointed for each university for redressal of grievances of students as per University Grants Commission. Grievance redressal regulations 2012. <coughs> We believe that this will help the commu campus communities and institutions to address issues of prejudice and discrimination which otherwise have no dedicated forum to redress these kinds of grievances. These, we hope, understand that creating awareness about prejudice practices and the acts of discrimination will be one of the main roles of the CFPD. This is the only way that a dialogue about prejudice and discrimination can be brought about in our educational institutions. We hope that the heads of the higher educational institutes will act immediately on our proposal and help build a prejudice and discrimination free campuses and institutions. So, thank you Shiva. Now we are going for the voting. The students who have the objection on the resolution which is presented on the Committee Against Prejudice and Discrimination are requested to raise your hands.
the students who is in support of the resolution are just very proud. So this resolution also passed unanimously. And we are, a, a, we are a, entering into the last resolution. Resolution to drop all the police cases against students and faculty. We, we demand immediate dropping of all the police cases against all the students and faculties. And also we demand U.S. registrar to withdraw the false cases filed against the students. And in this case also we are going for the voting. Where the students who have objection are requested to raise your hands. The students who are in support of the resolution are requested to raise your hands.